What's going on guys? Fighting Game Select is here. What's good everybody? It's coming to the first year, almost the first year of Street Fighter 6. And um, you know, Capcom haven't announced any balances, which is uh really good. And um, you know, I want to talk about with my special guest, Diaphone. What's good, Diaphone? Yo, what's up, boys? And I gotta say, this is already cat. This is gonna be interesting interesting discussion because I totally agree, disagree with the no patch philosophy. So I'll let you start, but why why do you think that? I feel like there's a lot of characters that were portrayed really bad and um as the time progressed became really good. You know, when the game first came out, everybody was like, yo, DJ's the best character in the game. Now DJ's not the best character in the game anymore. Now it's a new character that's the best in the game. And I really like the fact that we got that because now we get to kind of see uh what can these characters mm -hmm. do and be fleshed out within the year especially that we have so much uh we have so much like um information that is on the internet that i feel like yeah. people will always find unique ways to kind of like uh push the character you know i just think that because there's no patches characters get that time to kind of like really push off so you can kind of see what they actually need rather than just giving them things that were that they already had i kind of agree so there's a few things that like really appeal to me and the one is like we, it's true that even after a year the year is over and the game gets patched like we still won't know the true balance right i mean you could think of like what was it super turbo where t like old t hawk was like bottom three and then he shot up the tears like 10 years later but at the same time like it's still pretty obvious that like certain characters are underpowered and certain characters are like really really strong right i still expect to see jp ken etc like at the top like it doesn't matter like we give this game 10 years and those characters are still gonna be at the top right and like we knew that probably like month one month two and so to me it's like i think this is kind of cool because like no game has really done this where like on launch we're just not going to patch it for a year and it's kind of like a weird like social experiment <laughs> so to speak where it's like we get to see how these tiers will develop and and you know we're not we're only like halfway through the journey so we'll, we'll continue to see more but at the same time like i wish there was like maybe like a post evo patch like tweaking it a little bit like a minor patch you know like like give jamie a little bit of love like we know jamie's not top tier give him a little bit of love right like we know zangief's not top tier give him a little love like we know lily's not top tier just, just a little bit you know just a little bit to like keep the game a little bit fresh and to keep the tiers a little bit more ambiguous i think that's why i would prefer let's say for example you were jamie and you were fighting the best character in the game would you think jamie that jamie player cannot win i mean of course not right but it's it's very obvious that jamie's like has many disadvantageous matchups it's just like, I don't know how disadvantageous they are. I don't know if they're like, you know, 5.5, 4.5, 4.6, 7.3, 5, et cetera. But I know they're not the best matchups for Jamie. <laughs> and like, yeah, if you look at the tournament results, like they prove it, right? Like no Jamie's doing super well. For one, I still think the game's a bit too early to like know every matchup to a cup of tea. I do, take, I do think it takes quite some time. You know, I think characters like Kimberly and she's like on the slightly quote unquote weaker side. But, yeah. you know, there's been players that are, like, doing super good against very strong characters, you know? And I, mm -hmm. and, I, and when I watch that, and then I look at, like, other games that, like, you know, the low tiers compared to, like, other games when the game first came out, I think the low tiers in these games are pretty damn good. Oh, I know? agree. 100%. Yeah. And um, with the system mechanics, like, perfect parry and things like that, I look at it as, like, you know, maybe the system is so good that it doesn't really need anything right now personally i feel like three years for a patch is good but i do like the minor changes like very 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 minor mm -hmm. like updates and things like that like fix hmm so you actually think like they for season two a street fighter they should like barely patch it yeah i think i think the game i think the game is mad fun i think there's oh, only I like four totally i agree. feel like there's only like four characters that are not having fun with. so like my thing is is why does everything else need to be adjusted if everything else is already good yeah, I think Capcom guy got lucky or, or just was really skilled in playing this game because you're right in the sense that like nothing's really broken and like every character can can win. There's nothing like truly disadvantageous, right? But at the same time, like they took that risk and they said, you know, before the game was even launched, like we're not going to patch this game until the end of Capcom Cup or whatever they said. If they did that for a game like MK1, like that game is broken and 
Like, I don't know if you've been playing yeah. it or following yeah, 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 it. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Everyone's running Barack Cyrax, Johnny Cyrax, yeah. Raiden Cyrax. Yeah. And it's like the meta is going to be very stale, very quick. And there's like, in my opinion, like half the cast is just not viable. Half the cameos are not viable, right? And it's very obvious, even though it's like only one month into MK1. So, like, a game like that to go a year without a patch seems like absolutely crazy to me i'm pretty sure nrs is not going to do that so i think it like depends on the game I, it, is that fair yeah that's totally fair yeah. i mean i i think i think the problem is and i've been i've been always very vocal and people who watch this always know they know what i always say man like you know releasing unfinished products is not an excuse mm -hmm. for you having to constantly make packs you know yeah. if you just make if you you know if you make a lot of like it's crazy street fighter 6 didn't even have a lot of beta tests when you're a developer when you want to try to make everybody happy you have to take those risks i mean yeah. the hell they took they took the risk uh not going for like the hardcore players were just focusing on you know the casual audience so i feel like they should also take a risk where making them both happy yeah that's, that's interesting because i think uh a lot of the even like the hardcore audience like complains a lot like they complain about certain things on Twitter, right? Whether it's about perfect parry or drive rush being in or un inert, like hard to react to. Not that I think Capcom should listen to people on Twitter because you get the worst game <laughs> imaginable. Yeah, right? exactly. exactly. But, but it's obvious like people want change and I think change is always fresh, but at the same time, like, you know, some games change too much, like Grand Blue, they had like, what? 10 patches oh in the first God, year bro. and like it really yeah, turned people crazy. off right so like obviously there's a balance right but to me it's like like how do you strike that balance and i'm not really sure because like you said like there's all you're always flushing out the meta like smash 15 years later you're still flushing out the meta so like you can't wait for the meta to settle because it'll it'll never settle like it doesn't matter how long it how long of a time period so in my mind you have to like you have to cut it off somewhere my like in theory cutoff is like like what you said you know there's four characters that can't party like everyone else like it's like when you know that for sure it's like all right touch up the game a little bit yeah and that's what i'm saying like minor patch it and then like you know have like a big update like at at the end of the year or after every like two years or you know something that keeps the game fresh and keeps it new and keeps people wanting to come back as far as people like you know keeping the game fresh you know when i play street fighter 6 as a player it's still still fresh it feels fresh like mm -hmm. i'm still learning things, yeah you know but i i know for like the uh, audience that are like very casual it may not be like fresh for them but i personally think with the dlc characters and how um world tour mode is and how avatar battle is i still feel like it's also fresh for them too like you know aki bringing like new move sets i i feel like that's like a fresh thing for world tour do we do we actually need anything outside of like the four characters we mentioned not not really i think yeah which is good that means mm -hmm. capcom did a great job i think that's right. perfect yeah yeah let's hope that other games don't you know other games don't need that but i agree like if motor combat sick the way it is there will only be Baraka man. That's what I'm saying, but, bro. Yeah, but I, but I feel like in Street Fighter Six, it will not be that. Yeah. But there will all, but, but there will be a dominant popular character. Right. Like obvious. Yeah, like you look at the tournaments, right? JP Ken. There's a lot of characters that are like really good. That's a lot. Yeah. That's a lot. It's roster. good variety, and I think it's fresh. I just think you know, if you touch up the game, I like you don't want to do it now because it's like it's in the middle of like CPT season and stuff. But like like right after Evo, you know, touch up the game a little bit, make it a little bit more fresher, a little bit more variety, and then keep the game till you know season two. I think that would have been just a little bit better. But I think how they're doing it now is good. I just you know, I think you could. Like in theory, like retrospectively, elevate a little bit. Well, let me ask you this: Do you think the balance is good for a first year game? Hell yeah! It's it's so yeah. much better than I was expecting, to be honest. Do you feel this game needs a balance? Like it, it like needs. It. If you had to look at this game, be like, oh no, nah, we gotta we gotta pull this out right now. Like, no, nah, does this game not. actually? This game actually needs a balance. MK One needs a balance bit change. This yeah. game, like I think it's it's gonna thrive competitively. Balance changer, no. They should add more DLC. Keep the game pressure. Yeah. <laughs> I think add it. I think, man, I, honestly, yo, real, before I leave, adding more DLC is cool. I don't think characters, but I think, like, game modes would be cool. Yeah, I, and I think both. Yeah. I think both. I think four compared... So, Street Fighter Five had six DLC first year. This game has four. Just saying, yeah. you know. Yeah, but look, but look, but look how much... Higher. I agree, but I just think it's harder to make six fresh new characters that are, like, fleshed out with, like, their design and six than five. Because five was like, yo, you got your normals, you got V-Trigger, 
You got Fever Reversal. Mm -hmm. That was it. And Critical Art. Nah, I you agree. Got, you okay. Got, yeah, okay, okay. Three super, uh, you, you target remember, combo. All right, all right, give me more costumes then. You, you're right. Yeah, I, I'll give I you that point. That. Give us more costumes. Yeah. <laughs> well, we got some that we got some that got announced. We just don't know when it's dropping. I know, but yeah, yeah, Capcom yeah. could be making like money over fist. They just had costumes. I agree with that. We definitely should get more things so we can like dress up, do cool things. I agree with that. But you know, to wrap it up, I agree with that. More DLC. <laughs> don't have to be characters. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.